The summer solstice is right around the corner. Stay tuned and I'll give you some ideas on how to celebrate. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video by Pan Society. I'm Sherry, and as you know, the summer solstice is right around the corner, so I wanted to talk about some ways that we can celebrate and observe it, um, dealing with the altar and the foods that we eat that day. So let's start off with the altar. If you choose to keep an altar, um, you wanna kinda go with the theme, sort of, and that being the colors of sun, the heat, what makes you think of summer, like reds, oranges, yellows, things in that family. Don't feel committed to stay within that box, but you know, go with what you're feeling, what uh, makes you think of summer and the celebration of the season and the fact that this is the longest day of the year. Uh, for me, my altar will have sunflowers because what better flower screams summer than the sunflower. Um, I'm also going to include some peppers and chilies from the garden because of heat and also the bell pepper, the colors, the reds and the oranges and the yellows um, that they come in. Uh, also, I think about candles. Candles are always on my altar, so I pick, of course, those colors, reds, oranges, yellows. Um, and then you can take it from there, be inspired, do whatever feels right for you, add whatever um, elements that you want to add with it. If you want to put a mini flame on there safely, um, or altar cloths or anything else. Um, I typically have uh, an altar for almost everything. There's there's one decorated because my mantle is kind of my altar, my, my everyday altar, and that changes seasonally. So I've already changed it over <laughs> to the sunflowers and the peppers and the chilies and stuff, um, and then I'll change it for the next one. Uh, this is not my ritual altar, but this is just my everyday general one. Now, let's talk about foods, the best part, right? Um, when we're thinking about foods for uh, the solstice celebration, the summer solstice celebration, think about summer foods, what's coming in right now, squashes. Think about the colors as well. So um, these are things like squashes, watermelons, um, the insides are beautiful reds. Um, what else do we have? Zucchinis that are coming in, cantaloupes yellow tomatoes, red tomatoes if you have them, so making a nice, um, like a bruschetta with your tomatoes or uh, pasta sauces, things like that. You can get creative with everything that um, is available at this time of year. Chilies, making hot, spicy things. Um, another one that we overlook is um, stone fruits, peaches, nectarines, plums, those kinds of things. And in fact, I'm going to include a recipe or two and list them down below for things for you to try because we actually went with nectarines, um, a nectarine salsa over pork, and we actually had corn. So corn's another big one, I almost forgot. Um, uh, corn is another big food item for summer and the summer solstice. So that can go on the altar as well. Um, but we included it in our meal, which is a rarity, but um, for summer we'll do that. And uh, so I'll include the recipe for the nectarine salsa that we did over the pork. And then I made a dessert with peaches and um, some whipped cream and walnuts and a little bit of drizzle of honey from our bees, which harvested for the summer. So I hope these are really good ideas. Do you have any that you've tried already or that you plan on doing? Um, or maybe that I didn't mention, like ideas that you have or ways that you celebrate the summer solstice? Comment down below and let us know. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in another pan video.